Well, it's that time. Let's get an early start to our pepper growing and celery growing. So I did a video on um, growing lettuce last Friday. Today is Wednesday. It took, um, I planted Friday, Sunday, my lettuce was germinating. So we'll check that out later on in, the, in this video. Uh, it didn't take long at all. My onions are actually starting to sprout now too. So today we're gonna get an early start on our pepper growing. I've got six different varieties here that we're gonna, we're gonna plant. And we're also gonna plant some celery. Celery is very slow to germinate and it takes, I think it's, uh, yeah, it takes up to 12 weeks to, to, to full maturity and it takes uh, 20 to 30 days to start sprouting. We'll see if that helps a little bit with the, um, with the lighting that we have. And the peppers are all about seven to 14 days um, sprout and you're supposed to plant these indoors about eight weeks before last frost, but I'm gonna be growing a lot indoors too until it's nice enough. Um, I do have the space. Just remember when you're planting these types of things, you might wanna plant a whole lot of peppers, but you have to realize that the plants do get fairly big and you do get a lot of fruit off them. So just, I mean, if you wanna plant, maybe if you want two plants, plant maybe three seeds, four seeds, just to make sure that you get that germination because sometimes you, you do, sometimes the germination fails. Um, I'm gonna be planting six of each of these peppers for now because um, we're hoping hydroponic NutriTower is going to be in this week, which, oh, I can't wait. So we're going to plant some peppers and stuff in that system as well. And that'll stay indoors, of course, all, all year. And then we're going to plant 12 of these uh, celeries. We grew fantastic celery at the farm, and I'm hoping that I can do it again this year. So let's get you uh, over here, and uh, I will show you how I do it. All right, <clears throat> so Duane and I have been uh, finding ourselves not eating as healthy as we should be only because, I mean, the prices of produce at the stores are, it's outrageous. And not only that, the quality is horrible in a lot of stores. So we're going to grow all of our own food. Being self-sustainable is the way to go. So just Follow me and I will show you everything I know and things that work for me. It's so simple to do in your home. You don't need a lot of space to start. Um, so we went and, oh, actually, take this one. We went and picked up um, these 72 cells at, uh, we got these at Canadian Tire. And they, they come with uh, like the um, cells, the cell packs, and then with a solid tray at the bottom. So you can bottom water, you don't have to worry about top watering. Um, I've already filled my, my tray with soil. What we did too is we went and bought a bale of um, uh, all-purpose potting soil. And the big bale is 55 pounds. It was $45 as opposed to $10 for a small bag. So this is what we're using. I have used this all-purpose soil before. Uh, when we had the garden center and the farm, we, we did use bales. So with this, it also, comes with the lid it's a jiffy it's a jiffy system and uh, it's perfect and that's gonna go under my lights so let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is to plant oh wait another thing you need is you don't have to use popsicle sticks but that's what I have and I just write everything down um, oh, I don't need that celery I right, so I've got like celery times 18 so I will put there's six rows or six cells per row here so I'm going to do three rows of that I'll do that to show that this 18 is the celery and then mini bells uh six and so on so what do we have here we have the uh, super chili hybrid we have red bell pepper this is going to be backwards in the camera because my camera's turned but um habanero California Wonder Green Pepper, the Mini Bell Mix, which I absolutely love because there's a mix of purple, red, orange, and yellow. And then, of course, our Utah Celery. 
So we're gonna start with, we'll just pick the top one. We're gonna start with our peppers first. Um, these seeds are a lot bigger than the celery are like little tiny pepper size. And if I can open this. So we just wanna take a six seed of that. And you can see they're not overly big, but they are bigger than this, the celery for sure. Okay, so I've got this all ready. It's, I've wet this down and I've made a little divot in each cell with my, with my finger. And I mean, just don't go too, too deep, but it, go deep enough so that you can cover. So you're just gonna drop your seed into each cell like that. And, oh, I had more than, that's a small seed, I'll put a double in there. Into each cell, and I'm just gonna cover up with the soil that is on the outer edges. Just like we did with the, uh, with the onion. There we go. Yeah, just cover it up. If it's not deep enough, you can just kind of push it down a little bit and work like that. And there. So that is the mini red, uh, mini bell. So I'm gonna, oh, not that way. I'm gonna put that in and down as far as I can. And then we're gonna continue on with the green pepper. And again, just plunk that down and drop it into the hole. Super simple. And it's so rewarding when you start to see these babies uh, sprouting, germinating, and watching them grow and watching them fruit. There's nothing like it and the freshness of your own produce. It's just, it always tastes better when you've grown it yourself or when it's locally grown fresh produce. Um, this is gonna give me a lot of peppers, but we do want lots anyhow um, for outside as well and then for our system that's coming in. Okay, next is habanero. <clears throat> Um, I didn't, I'm not going to use this whole tray, so I've only wet the ones that I'm going to use. In the other, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to do some basil, and I'm going to also do some spinach in there. Oop, time six. Right, that was California wonder. Yep, now we're on ha ha habanero. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. What was I saying, guys? Oh, well, it'll come back to me. So... We're just going to continue on like that. And I have an extra seed. I'll just throw that in. Oh, what I was saying. I know what I was saying. With that, I'm going to do 12 basil and 12 spinach. I'm also going to do basil and spinach in the other system that's coming. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave these dry until we get to that. Now, onto the red bell. And all these um, colored peppers, you can eat them at green stage as well. You don't have to wait for them to turn color so much. It is nice to have color. But if you have an abundance of them, you can uh, eat some at green stage and, come on, eat some at green stage and then eat some as they ripen. They do take a little while to ripen, but uh, that's why I really want to get an early start to these so that we have peppers early enough. Um, I will be putting some of these outside on the deck. We have a very large wraparound deck and we're gonna be putting some patio pots out there with, uh, with peppers and tomatoes and all that kind of stuff. And then we're also gonna have some raised beds and a garden. Now we have deer and uh, rabbit around here and we're, so we're going to have to build a, um, a fence. I'm just going to, we're going to put some T-bar in and uh, some uh, chicken wire, you know, just to keep them out. You have to make it fairly high because deer jump, we know that. And uh, yeah, that should, that should do the trick. Our deck is quite high, however, so I'm not, I'm thinking the deer and the rabbit won't come up onto the deck. Here's hoping, and if they do, well, we've learned our lesson, right? But I don't think they will, because it's fairly high. 
and that's it for our peppers. So there you go, super simple. I hope you can see here. I'm kind of in the way. And six chilies. Oop, not that one. Six chilies. And then we're going to go with these ones. We're going to do three rows. We're doing 18 of the celery. So this is where it's going to be a little tricky. Just a little tricky. I'm making a mess on the floor here. So I want to get all the soil off my palm. And uh, now do you see how tiny they are? Like super tiny. So I think what I'll do is, I think I'm just going to grab, because you can't, you can't do one at a time. Seriously. So I'm just going to grab and put them in and we can always separate them later. After they're up, um, celery doesn't really like to be transplanted. Um, it doesn't do super well. We have transplanted because we always used to do our starts first. Um, and they did, they did fine, but a lot of times they don't really like to be transplanted. So what we do or what we did was when we did transplant, we did them in the cells like this. And when we took them out, I'm just going to do that. When we took them out, um, we, um, oops, that's a little bit too much. We just very gently pop them because the root system will be fine, right? So we just kind of squeeze and it would all come out in one and we try not to just disturb that plug and then put it into the ground. So there we go. We have celery. We have five varieties of peppers. And uh, that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna show you, actually I'll bring you into the, the light room and, uh, or the growing room, I guess we could call it. And show you how the lettuce is sprouted. That's very exciting. Um, yeah, to go and buy lettuce is just crazy. Absolutely crazy right now because of the price. Like $8 for one romaine is ridiculous. Um, okay, so there, I'm going to give these another water. I do have a, another watering can coming. Um, it should be here any, any time. Oops. And uh, my green tape, this was Dwayne's idea. Because every time I watered, you guys watched the other video. And it would pour out this top part. So we just put some painter's tape on there. And uh, it works. He is one smart man, I'll tell you. And yes, you guys will meet him. He is just the most amazing man in the world. And uh, he supports me doing this. And um, he's excited to help. And he's excited to eat what we grow and uh, yeah okay that's it I'm going to put my lid on this and it's nice because my sticks aren't in the way of the lid going on and we're gonna go to the other room and put this under the lights and I'm gonna show you my lettuce all right so here we are in my growing room right now we're setting a lot of this up downstairs um, We'll show you that as we go, but I want to show you this fan because I had that great big floor mo model fan and it was just taking up so much space. So I picked this, it's just a Honeywell fan, very quiet, and I just have it on low and I like this because you can adjust the, the direction of it. So I just kind of have it kind of like that, just circulating the air around, which is very important for mold or anything on your, on your soil or your plants. And, uh... My tomato plants are starting to come back again. But look at this. Want to see? Look at my lettuce has sprouted. So I've taken the cover off. Once they all start sprouting or once you get a good uh, start to your sprouting, take the cover off and then just keep watering them and letting them go. I have not fertilized yet and I'm not going to for a little bit. Um, probably another week. And... Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how the growth of them is as we go. And then the onions down here. So I didn't have a 
a tray long enough so I used two of these and cellophane in the middle only because I had them you can use cellophane if you want but my onions are all starting to sprout now too which is exciting um, however okay they did start sprouting the other day and I topped them again with soil because I could see the actual seed and uh, it worked fine so that is that Something else I wanted to mention too, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning in case some of you have stopped watching. Um, instead of buying, like if you don't want to purchase anything like this, you can use egg cartons. Um, just the, you know, the holes that the eggs go in, you can use that. Just take the top off and put your soil in and the soil's going to drain through. Just make sure you have something underneath to catch any water that you may have coming out or soaking through. Um, even put it onto a cookie sheet or anything like that. So you can just use your own imagination. If you Google um, do-it-yourself uh, seeding containers, you, you'll get a ton of different really helpful tips. Um, so that's everything for now, I think. Um, we will come back. I might even do another video tomorrow. I don't know. And uh, within the next couple days, anyhow, and I'm going to do my spinach and my basil and the basil I really do want to show you how I get it to germinate better and um, really good production or really good growth so that's everything you guys have a great day see you in a couple days bye